You may have noticed on the left the Théâtre de Verdure, the open-air theatre. In the early 20th century, shows were produced on that site that was later arranged with stepped rows for seats. In August 1913, its inauguration took place with an audience of 4,000 people to applaud Carmen, the famous opera by Bizet. During the First World War, the theater was requisitioned as garrison for the troops. <laughs> Cheer up, Frog. Since then, we can enjoy shows and the school's annual concerts. In front of the theatre is the Fountain of the Dauphin, built in 1602 to mark the birth of the Dauphin, the future King Louis XIII, son of Henry IV and Marie de Medici, his second wife. Despite this early homage, Louis XIII was to strike a severe blow to Nirac in 1621 by trying to re-establish the Catholic religion by force to punish the rebelling Protestants, who drove out the Catholic and burned down the convents. Louis XIII ordered the demolition of the town walls, whilst the moats were sold and transformed into gardens. <laughs> it's not surprising that the original inscription of this fountain, engraved in marble with the letters of gold, was thrown into the Baiz during the revolution. The present plaque is a copy. The chalet and the bandstand were built in 1895. The bandstand housed concerts by the music societies whilst the chalet was used as a bar or a guardhouse. It had an inscription mentioning Le Bon Roi Henri, the good King Henry, who never hesitated to sit down at the table of humble folk, for instance, during the long hunts on his manor of Durance, a few leagues distant from Nerac. Sometimes he would track stag or white boar for several days in a row. Puppies! <laughs> Shut up. You know I'm very fond of frog's legs. As for you, if you keep on along the path, you'll come to the village of Nazareth, but I suggest you cross the Baiz using the footbridge. <laughs> <laughs>